Hi everyone, hope you're doing well from whatever you're watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, just like Migori, Kisumu, Kakamega, Kilifi County is just still a stronghold of ODM party, and that is the Azimio zone. And look at this. We have had that horror situation that took place in Shakahola. Then from that time up to now, the president has never stepped in that place. His deputy, Rigatha Gashagwa, has never even thought of going to Shakahola. Kizure just visited once, then today was making the second visit to that place. But then, Raila Odinga, Kilif being his stronghold, he decided to go and visit Shakahola to understand what is happening to the people who always believe in his ideology, the people who have always supported him. Then he was ended up being blocked by police officers. So, one of the MCA in Kilifi County, the majority leader in the, in the Kilifi County Assembly, is asking William Ruto questions. Weo hujawai kuja. Gashagwa hujawai onekana hapa. Raila Odinga amekuja, then we are blocking him, not to access that site. Then number two, you are constituting an, a commission to go and check into that issue, the commission of inquiry, on what happened in Shakahola. But above all, Ruto has never considered to put anyone from Kilifi County in that commission. The question is, what is the government trying to hide? Or what game is the government trying to play as far as the issue of Shakahola is concerned? Listen to him shortly, then from here we are going to continue with this conversation. Mimi nataka kuongezea na kuambia serikali ya William Ruto. Serikali ya William Ruto. Jana tumeona katika vyombo wa habari. Ya kwamba mulifanya, lile mutakalofanya, mukakataza, Baba Raila Amolo Odinga kuingia Shakahola kwenda kushuhudia mauti yaliyofanyika katika Shakahola. Mi nataka kuambia hivi. Sisi tumepatikana na mafa kama watu wa Kilifi. Hatujakuona wewe Ruto kufika Shakahola. Sisi tumepatikana na mafa kama watu wa Kilifi. Hatujakuona wewe ambaye unajita makamu wa rais kufika Shakahola. Leo baba Raila Amolo Odinga ameacha kazi zake zote kuja kushuhudia kilichotendeka Shakahola la kuasante yenu nyinyi mnasimamisha askari na kukataza Raila Amolo Odinga asiingie pale Shakahola. Mimi nataka kuambia Ruto ukataze Raila asiingie Shakahola ukubali kilifi itabaki ni chama cha ODM Hii ni ocheni unajua hapa mahali tumefikia ni lazima tuambiane ukweli kisha kitu kingine ambacho pia kinatusikitisha sisi kama watu wa kilifi mafa yamefanyika kilifi leo wewe rais hati wewe unaunda tume Huko Nairobi tume ile ya kuchunguza ule uchafu huku hakuna mpani hata moja hakuna wakilifi hata moja umechagulia watu kutoka na mimi nataka kukwambia hawa watu ulochagua wewe watabaki huko huko kwenu wafanye uchaguzi huko huko kwenu hawafiki kilifi hakuna mahali watafika na mimi ninakwambia Ruto nyinyi mnatufanya wajinga lakini mumefika mwisho Hawafiki na siku wakifika tutaandamana na tutapambana na huko huko wakae Nairobi wachunguze huko Nairobi si hapa kilifi Bwana <tos> nyinyi mnatuona wajinga watu watu wamefariki huku ati mnakaa wewe na huyo makamu wa rais mwanda wazimu mnakuja ati mnatueleza hakuna bwana <tos> Sasa tumeamka sasa mimi ninawaambia na baba Raila Amolo Odinga mimi nataka kukwambia ya kwamba saa hii tunataka kukwambia hivi maandamano ukifanya Nairobi sisi kilifi saa hii pia tutaungana na maandamano ndani ya kilifi tuangaliane sasa kila
kila time hao wanatuona sisi wajinga baba wacha nikwambie uko na jeshi imara na hii ni kilifi itabaki wateremshe unga wa kudhulumu waende wapi sijui wafanye nini Raila Amolo Odinga ndani ya kilifi hakuna mtu atakushinda kwa zile kura zako hapa na sisi tuko hapa kwa hivyo mimi sitaki kuchukua muda mrefu ninasema ya kwamba tushirikiane tuweke serikali yetu ya ODM mbele asanteni na Mungu habariki na sasa hii ningetaka unajua nimeongea hivyo hawa wenzangu hawa MCs wengine unajua wakiongea wanaizaitwa na wale mimi siwaogopi mimi mkinita mimi rais wangu ni Raila Amolo Odinga mimi sitambui Ruto kama rais Sitambui gachagwa kama raisi makamu wangu ni madha karua hawa ndio serikali yetu hiyo yenu ya hiyo yenu ya ukora ni huko kwenu huko si huko kwetu now we are continuing with the panel discussion but just a quick request for those who are watching and you have not subscribed please consider subscribing to the returning subscribers and say thank you so much and again to all our viewers please give this video a thumbs up thank you so much and back to this discussion now before we go to the issue of the leader who has more support in Kilifi first of all let us deal with the issue of the commission of inquiry into the Kilifi issue look at this this MCA is making a lot of sense how can you make a commission to probe something happening in Kilifi county but the state has never thought of putting anyone from Kilifi to be part of that commission this is going to raise a lot of questions. People will start asking that what is this that the government is trying to hide? Because you cannot inquire something from an area where you don't involve the locals in that issue that you are inquiring about. Wewe chukua chairman wa DIP akuwe ni mtu mwenye hata hana ngombe. Lazima ukuwe na ngombe ndio ukuwe chairman wa DIP so that Everything that happened in that area, wewe mwenyewe, you are also taking it with the interest that you are a part of the people who are benefiting from that. The people who are raising noise about the activities going on in that forest were locals. If it were not for locals, there was no way the state was going to know what was happening there. So the issue is, why are you distancing that inquiry from the, from the locals? If Ruto is looking for the truth in what really happened in Sakahola, then the locals should be part of that inquiry. By removing them and distancing them, distancing them from this inquiry, it means there is something serious that the state does not want to get out. Is there a possibility that people will start now linking the state to what was happening in Shakahola? It's like they were aware because we have had this allegation that Mackenzie and other individuals have been seen in the same prayer event with these Kenya Kwanza leaders. So do they want us to conclude and say that there is something they're trying to hide? That's why they are moving from they are removing the people of Kilifi from that commission. That is raising questions. Number two, <laughs> why block Raila Molo Dinka? Kilifi is home for Raila. That is where he has his major support. It's like Raila is going to Kisumu, like I said at the beginning, but then you block him from meeting his own people. The people of Kilifi are a people of Raila Molo Dinka. These are the people who have always stood with the ODM party. That is Raila Odinga's zone. So when he goes there, he's the most recognized leader in that county than William Ruto. And the MC has said that. So why is Ruto trying to remove Raila Odinga from his own people forcefully? Why? These are the people who support idea, ideology of Raila Odinga. He went there to see what was happening on the ground. Then, wanamwambia wewe uwezi ingia huku, hauko kando. 
wale watu wenye wameadhirika pale wengi wao pia ni watu wa Raila Amolo Odinga but anawaambia ah, you cannot enter so even in such horror situation Ruto is seemingly seen as a person who want to play politics hata kwa wafu watu wamekufa wao wameleta siasa ndani Raila is a respectable leader who command more than a half of support across this country. Kilifi is home for him. So this MC is asking serious questions and now is bringing in a threat. And indeed the people of Kilifi should be serious about this that as long as you are not involving us in this issue then you people you will not have your activities here. You cannot come and start inquiring here when all of us none of us is part of this inquiry commission it means you are coming for cover up this is damage control you are trying to do here but not serious looking into the issues that have affected people's life don't remove the neighbors from this issue let them be there let them tell you about what they know in the whole situation so we may say ma you will not come here you will not come here because indeed what the mc is not saying directly is that if you are coming here with your people from outside then you are coming just to hide what people might be aware of that's why umetuona sisi hatutakuwa baadhi ya wale watu watakaa kwa hiyo kamati now you are distancing raila odinga from his own people but we have seen Raila Odinga is still going there he's still meeting people in Kilifi but again this should be condemned and thank god the Kilifi county is now coming out to speak their mind and it is making sense what they are saying is making sense Kashagwa kuja kuja Ruto hukuji Raila amekuja why block him why so are you in alliance and you don't want someone to know what you are doing in that alliance this unholy alliance there are so many questions to ask and uh, there should be a protest that people of kilifi should be part of this commission going forward i don't know your views but let us meet in the comment section for continuation of this conversation thank you and see you in our next video